Hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, a favorite indoor facility. And what are we doing today? We are doing a follow-up on the Great Ghost uh, pistol, which is being put together from parts. Uh, the frame belongs to a friend, the upper belongs to another friend, and put them all together to get a complete Great Ghost pistol. But when we did the introduction to it, we had some uh, stoppages. Oh, yeah, sure and well. I thought that it needed to be broken in or oh, whatever. I, I was wrong. The problem was that the red dot that I used for that video, uh, I just took it out, put it in, screwed it, and I didn't notice that the right screw on this pistol, the cutout for the RMR is so deep that if you use a standard size screw, it will actually touch and impede the workings and the functioning of the extractor plunger. And that was causing the stoppages. So I grabbed this True Glow True Tech that I happen to have at home. Um, and I went ahead and I, using a buffer, I went ahead and I used a Sharpie on the tip of the screw. I would grind a little bit with a buffer and get it wet because that gets hot really quickly and put it in, put Sharpie on it and oh, it marked here, take a little more. It took me about 10 minutes and I actually removed the, uh, the screw and I cut it down enough so it would clear the extractor plunger. So now I sighted it in with this TrueTech and let's go ahead and shoot it and show you that it's working. So let's do it. I'm using for this video shoot, um, it is nine millimeter Fiocchi, 115 grain jack, uh, full metal jacket going about 1200 feet per second. And let's do it. Oops, uh, you gotta put the magazine and make sure it seats, not just slam it. Um, I wish this magwell had the cutouts so you could check that your magazine is perfectly uh, engaged because it has a magwell on it. So you don't have that capability, magwell won't let you, or you have longer base pads. I might put some um, Springer base pads on them. We have a, have a pile of them at home. So let's go ahead and do it at 10 yards. We have a zombie attacking us. She's an influencer with her little chihuahua. I'm gonna let the dog live, even though that dog is a zombie. Okay, she is somewhat slowed down. Let's go for the head. And she's neutralized. I let the dog survive because the dog had, you know, even though it's a little zombie yappy chihuahua, uh, yeah, we can take care of him later. But at this time, she's not, he's not gonna bother us because the owner is bye-bye. But what can I say, you know, by checking out if you're putting a red dot on some of these uh, Glock clones, um, be careful, really be careful with it because if you put pressure on that extractor plunger, it will impede the functioning of the extractor and then will cause stoppages like he did on the previous video. The two stoppages in 10 rounds, that's no bueno. That's 10%, no, no. -uh. Here we shot 10 rounds and it's functioning correctly. I already shot like 50 rounds through it, sighting it in and it's working perfectly well. So other than that, perfectly well functioning pistol. One thing I did to this thing, these uh, True Glows come in with this heart cover and it doesn't fit when you put it in a pistol, but I went ahead and took a pair of pliers and clippers and file, and I cut the living snot out of it. Now it actually fits perfectly well. So the owner of the upper is gonna be all happy that his uh, new red dot is gonna have a cover just in case. So I will, you know, I'm really, really happy with the performance of this pistol. Um, the barrel that came with it was threaded. I'm not a big fan of threaded barrels. Uh, that's personal opinion, so eh, don't hold it against me. I might put a comp in it and try it again for you guys. But again, guys, thanks for watching. And like always, you know, like this video, share this video and subscribe to the channel. And please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content.
please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.